What up guys, welcome back to the garage, man. Today we're starting off, we're gonna head over to the junkyard. And I got a nice little uh, variety of tools together. Yeah. Now what we're looking for is gonna be parts for the S10. You guys already know I need a window for this side. I'd really like a door for that side. Um, a hood, this hood is all beat to shit. Um, and I'd also like to find uh, this generate, like this year of grill, if I can. Like I think my headlight buckets are good. So this one's got a crack in it like if i could find like a really good condition set of headlight buckets i'll probably grab them as well um but the grill most certainly because it's missing pieces and then like all the chrome is chipping and everything whoa look at that that almost freaking broke just touching it yeah anyhow um i'm gonna actually leave this camera here so but i'm gonna be taking my gopro with me because every time i go to the junkyard with this camera i always try to sneak it in in my pocket and it's always like this big bulge and they don't like you taking cameras in there so it's gonna be a lot easier to get in with uh, my gopro and then i also have a little piece that just is gonna clip onto my hat so that might help out bro i don't know we'll see but i'm excited to hopefully see if they got some parts for this thing <laughs> I almost passed this motherfucker. Good lord. <sighs> Turn the fan off. Alright, we made it. You guys are gonna go into my pocket until we get inside. Guess what? That one had absolutely zero S10s, bro. And I was really looking forward to that place having some. Cause uh, that's one of the junkyards that every time I go there, they have what I'm looking for. And they're always like a lot cheaper than all the other ones. But I don't know, we're gonna try the next place. Hopefully they have some. Cause I'm kind of on a time limit, dude. It's like, it's going, shit, it's already going on noon. And I have to be home by two o'clock cause I have a nurse at the house sitting with Bear. So I got two hours, and I have to still find a damn S10. <laughs> oh my god. First gear. Alright, second junkyard. Hopefully they got it. What's good about this one is whenever you pay to get into this one, like, they have two other yards that the same paint, like, you can get into the other two for free, but, I mean, we're not going to have time to go to two other yards anyway but hopefully they got it here man all right so this says they got one two three four five six seven eight of them 89 and 90 and 83 92 93 91 92 so it's all in the 60s row so let's hunt them down see what we can find so this is row 65 it says there's like let's see one two three it says there's three s10s on this row alone gmc grill that's pretty cool. Freaking big ass dent in it, but it's got the handle. I see glass. You know, what I didn't freaking bring it was a Phillips to put on my damn drill. It just dawned on me this thing has a hood on it. If we don't find one in better condition than this, like without that little dent, that's the only thing I see, then I'm probably gonna get this one. But now, <clears throat> I need to figure out how to get Phillips head screws out without a Phillips head freaking screwdriver. Dude, my, I can't believe I seriously didn't grab a Phillips head screwdriver. What is this? I noticed that the grill takes like torque spits so I grabbed uh, Torx and I got a flathead. Cyclops. Okay. 
So I moved on from that other one because I figured I would probably get further down the list or further down the line and find an S10 that would potentially be like this. A lot easier to get the window out of. But this is a crew cab. I don't know. I don't know if the doors are the same freaking size or not. I mean, they should be, bro. I, I don't know. I'm just going to send it. that's just because this door is dented and it's not gonna be that damn hard to put in all right but the question is if i reassemble all this little stuff back on here are they gonna charge me for it how much you want to bet they will like, well you got more than just the glass there you got the slider and whatever you want to call this shit Almost left my vice grip. Mm. I like the other dents better. Moving on. There's a white. Oh my god, look at that. That grill's fucked. Sit there. Oh my god. I guess somebody couldn't find where that goes, huh? This head is freaking beat too. Why do they all have dents in the same spot? That's a good door, hell yeah. You know, it just dawned on me. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, I should ask them if I can take this out to my truck and hold it up and make sure it's going to fit. Bro. Yep, looks like it's going to fit. <laughs> Jesus. What do I want from this? Oh, yeah, the hood. Half the paint's already off of it, so whenever I go to sand the damn thing to paint it, half the work's freaking done. Everything here is all long beds. The short beds don't make it to the junkyard. What the hell is that? Wow. Huh. What do you guys think? 13? 13. Nailed it. First try. This is where it gets wild. Man, I gotta carry this thing. That sucks. It's just casually a Budweiser sitting there. <laughs> That's funny. Hell yeah, crack that sucker open. I wonder if it's like wine. It gets better with time, huh? Wish I could find a grill, man. This thing's already got a City of Phoenix tag on it, so it's like meant to be mine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Meant to be. Now I gotta try to carry my tool bag and this window with one hand and that hood with the other hand. What else do I need? Shit. 
window. Oh, a door. Oh, it's got that freaking dent, bro. I think the only other thing I really wanted was a grill and a door, but there's not a door worth getting. I think this will do for now. Hmm. This door is actually really straight. Imagine if I just go get the handle off that door and put it on this door. Gosh dang it. What the hell? That's a three-legged dog. What the hell? That's a three-legged dog. I'm tripping right now on a three-legged dog. It had like rabbit ears. Getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so it was $86 all together for the hood and for the window. Put the window behind my seat. I know I brought a damn water bottle with me. Yes. Hell yeah. So I asked him how much the door is and it's like 50 something dollars for like just the shell. But then they said it was like a hundred and something dollars for the entire thing. But I don't know, like, cause I was thinking I would want the window with it because this well, I guess that is just the tent that's all scratched up. I could just get the shell. It's like $56. Because, yeah, it was like a hundred and something dollars for the whole thing. Like, with the glass and regulator and all that shit in it. <clears throat> to me, I'm like, it'd be easier just to get the whole door than just put the whole door on. Instead of having to gut this one and put, I don't know. But, no sense of spending more money whenever I have all those parts inside of this one. So, I'm getting a drink of water. And I think I'm going to head back in. The only shitty part is we gotta get the handle off that other truck. I don't know, screw it. Let's get it done. And I decided, screw that freaking door. I'm not messing with all those Phillips head screws. There's like 10 of them I had to take out, man. I had to get a handle from another door to put onto that door, but they had door panels on them, so I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna go back whenever I have a Phillips head screwdriver. You know what I just thought of? While we're out, I ought to stop by that place and grab some damn batteries, bro. I need three batteries, so. Um, yeah, I don't get to get out of the house very often. I'm always at the house with the baby. <laughs> so, while I'm out, I need to get my stuff done. There it is. This is the spot, bro, for you boys that are on a budget and need a battery. <laughs> need three batteries for me today. Okay, uh, what are they going into? One is a 92 Buick LeSabre, and then a, um, a 91, BMW 318i. Oh my god. Is that extra for the girth of it or what? <laughs> What's that? Is that extra for the girth of it or no, what? No, no, they're all the same price again. Oh okay, nice. And then last I have a um well it's a it's a 64 Bel Air. But it has it's just most. Yeah. Just, it's a 12 volt system, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's my biggest problem, man, it's batteries. <laughs> So a place like this is perfect. 192.66. Bang, there's 150. So three just about for the price of one. <laughs> if you go to AutoZone or something. We appreciate your business, bud. And then hold on to the receipt. That's gonna be the warranty on the battery. Okay. Um, it's a 90 day free placement on each one. Any issues, bring them back the receipt. We'll swap it out for another one. Sweet. Thank you, sir. So I didn't end up going back. Well, I went back in and I was going to get the door. Um, but then, like, the whole not having a Phillips head screwdriver thing kind of screwed me quite a bit. I had at least five or six Phillips head screws that I needed to take out in order to get a handle from one truck and then get the door off the, I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to go back later, bro, and just go grab that door. Um, because I think I also want to get the door panels. Well, I don't know. For some reason, I thought this door panel was, well, there is that. I don't know. It, that truck had really clean door panels, but they're blue. And I was thinking to myself that I would just paint them black. So, 
I might get the two door panels and then go back and get that door. But we got batteries, so we got a battery for Max, we got a battery for the BMW, and we got a battery for the Bel Air whenever we go to try to start the thing. Huge shout out to those guys over there, man. Like, that is definitely dope. That I was able to get all three cars a damn battery um, with a warranty for under 200 bucks. It was $190 for all three of them. But this is probably what I'm mostly excited about is the fact that we got a nice straight hood. There's like one ding on it right here, which is gonna be easy as hell to fix in comparison to the one that's on here. I mean, look at this lumpy ass thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> disperse some batteries i'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in the e36 right now god i hope it fits look how big that freaking battery is hopefully i won't need this anymore hell freaking yeah starts right up man that's what's up one battery down Ugh. Out with the old and in with the new. That's what's up, man. Dude, every time I get Max started, I just <sighs> I want to fix this car so bad. Oh, does a horn work? <laughs> Dude, when we lost our old house, the house that we were renting where I started the, the channel in, this car was literally like my truck, bro. Like I moved all of our couches on the roof of this thing and like everything, all the big furniture. Um, I borrowed somebody's pickup truck also, but I got a lot of it done with this car, bro. Um, and then it took us like, I don't know, two or three months before we actually got approved and got everything finalized to move into this house. During that period of time, bro, like I shit you not, like I was basically like living in this damn car. I had, I had a pole going from one side to the other. I literally had all my clothes hanging in the back of this thing. And like, I don't know, this this car has like never let me down, bro. If I'm being honest, I've been kind of letting it down. Like the things that it has wrong with it is all like maintenance type shit. It's like gaskets and stuff that needs to be replaced. But yeah, we're gonna get going on this thing. Um, I don't wanna say this one's up next, but we're gonna be cracking on that thing this month for sure. So hell freaking yeah. Well, this month as in February. <laughs> All right, now that last battery is gonna be for the Bel Air whenever we go to try to crank this thing over and get it started. And which made me think, I don't even, yeah, okay. I wanted to check to make sure there's even a starter on this damn thing. I never even looked. Um, there is a starter down there, so that's good. And, oh my God, is that the power wire? That's definitely gonna have to be replaced. All the copper is turned green. And this thing's like harder than a rock. I completely forgot that we need a damn cable for the hood. <laughs> I bet one of those damn trucks had one. I love you can actually open this thing now. <laughs> that was dope. I mean, you guys can put it in the comments what you think, but I think that hood actually looks pretty dope. It's almost like a natural patina, bro. And since being that it was white, like it looks like it actually goes to the truck, you know what I'm saying? But it's definitely refreshing to see it all nice and straight, man. Like it does have this one dent right there, which isn't a big deal. We'll be able to fix that easily as versus this damn hood. This thing was just completely freaking lumpy, man. I hope you guys can see that in the camera, but it's not only that this is lumpy, but like this backside right here, that thing is just all beat to shit and misshapen to the point to where that section of the hood like flexes. I don't know, man, all the way around this hood was just, this hood has been through hell, bro. 
um, and this one is literally all patinaed and rusting and came from a junkyard and is in better condition man what's up but it really does give the truck like a whole new vibe bro like like an old school chevy sexiness to it man do i take the tag off or do i leave it on <laughs> i'm just kidding Well, there it is, man. At the end of the day, we ended up with a much straighter hood. I know I already said it, but I really dig the way this thing looks. I kind of want to just clear coat it, man. Whenever we spray the truck, just clear coat it and leave it like that. I don't know. Put it in the comments what you guys think, or we could just paint the hood. I don't know. I, I think it looks really cool like that, but it's definitely nice to have a window right there. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm going to do with that hood now. Maybe I should just cut out like a big Deadbeat logo like sticker and put it on it and then just hang that hood up like in here or in the house. Screw it. <laughs> but you know what I think it's time to do that we haven't done yet? I've been excited about doing it, um, but I wanted to do it on video. You know what I'm saying? So that you guys can see. So you guys remember that whiteboard that I told you about? That I was going to make the list of what all the cars need so that I could actually visually see it. Here it is, bro. <laughs> now, these are all the cars that we talked about in that video. So I don't have all the cars on this list, but we do obviously have more room down here. Um, and we can cross some stuff off which I have been excited about. So we haven't really done anything for Khaki yet or the EK sedan. Um, now the S10 on the other hand, passenger door, not yet, driver window. Put a little check next to it, hood, put a little check next to it. We still need a grill, uh, bodywork, paint. I still haven't done that damn cap and rotor. But in my defense, bro, I have been to O'Reilly's and the AutoZone like three times and every time I ask them for it, and it's different stores, um, they don't have it in stock. And it, I don't know, I'm just one of those people that don't like to wait. So whenever they say, I can order it for you, be here tomorrow, I'm like, no, I'll just, I'll just go to another store. Realistically, if I would have ordered it, it would have been here by now. But no, I haven't done the cap and rotor yet. Um, the cowl and the hinges we've already done. Honestly, I put this on here just so we can cross it out. <laughs> so got the driver window, the hood, uh, cowl and hinges. Now the E36, bro, this one is going to be fun. So we already cleaned it up. Oh, this marker sucks. Freaking dollar store. Uh, already did the fuel pump. Come on, really? Dude, what the, what the hell? I feel like the check mark should be in red, but whatever. Oh my God. Now my OCD is going to mess. Oh my God. Now it's smearing. Dude, what the hell? We cleaned it up. Did the fuel pump sanded and painted it got a battery uh i haven't switched the damn wheels out yet so yes yeah, i gotta switch the rear wheels out uh for the m3 wheels and then sell the damn thing and then we could just get e36 off the list uh bel air we ended up getting a distributor for um oh and a battery so there's two things off that list and max we got a battery still have all that stuff i gotta get from max but you see what i'm saying how much this helps so now i could actually like visually see what it is i need to do i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna work on tomorrow i'm kind of thinking about running down to the auto parts store and getting a bunch more of that stuff on the list for the for the um for the bel air so we can try to get the bel air running you know what i'm saying i would love to hear that engine start up man so uh put in the comments what you guys would like to see next um if i get started on max like i'm gonna stay on max until max is done you know what i'm saying so that's why I don't know if I really want to get cracking on Max right now and end up spending the whole week, you know, working on Max. But I think we can knock the list out for the Bel Air, uh, get that engine running, um, and maybe make it over to the junkyard again this week and get a few more of those things on the list for the S10 to get some of that stuff knocked out. Um, once we get every, once we get all the body panels and stuff for the S10, um, then we can do body work, man, and get the thing sprayed. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.